back, everyone. Jim here. It's uh, March 22nd. It's probably about 41 degrees out. I'm standing in the shade, but it's actually a nice, fairly nice blue sky out. Uh, trouble is, the wind's blowing a gale. And uh, the chill factor is more like uh, 32. Uh, but anyway, I'm out here by my little... Uh, John Deere, and uh, I parked this, oh, probably last November, and uh, I haven't started it, I'm hoping, uh, hoping it's not loaded with uh, uh, mice or anything like that. Uh, I do use uh, non-ethanol gas. And uh, that saved me so far. I love it. Uh, my equipment starts up better. Uh, and that's what I wanted to see. wanted to get it on video. Like I said, it's been parked since November. And I haven't started it. Because that's been what? November, uh, December, January, February, March. Four months. Uh, probably November. Might have been... October. So anyway, four or five months it's been parked. Hasn't been started. And uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it for the first time this spring and uh, see how it does. I do believe I left some gas in it. Yep. There's gas in it. It's a, uh, I think it's like a 20 horse, something like that. 21 horse. So, uh, yeah. Let's see if this thing will start. Not blow up on me or anything. Outside all winter, that's not bad. I gotta, I gotta give it. Uh, it's that ethanol gas, I'm sure. Non-ethanol. Uh, I know. In years gone by, I've used regular gas. And it seems like I've had to crank and crank and crank before things start. But uh, hey, I got all my faith in non-ethanol.
on ethanol fuel, that's what you're going to want to do. Because your equipment will start so much better. So, thanks for watching. And, uh, hey, I'm going to be back at you with another video. Maybe a little longer next time. Thanks again. Bye for now.